Alright guys, I just wanted to go over a couple of quick little cheap things I do when setting up a new carry gun, specifically Glocks. So, one issue I have, a lot of people have, is a failure to lock the slide back because of grip interfering with the slide release mechanism. So, there are solutions like the CAG works, stuff like that. However, I just cut it off. You can see I cut pretty much the majority of the slide release lever off. I leave just a tiny nub that I go in and just file and put some texture on it. But you'd be surprised at how little material you actually need right here in order to A, lock the slide open and drop it. When you're coming over the top doing a mag change if you drop the slide with the release instead of slingshot you're really only hitting this top portion with your thumb you're putting downward and inward pressure on the slide release and i mean you could even get away with removing more material here and just leaving a tiny bit and what that does is allows my hand you know proper high grip to not interfere and cause failure to lock back. Actually, I'm probably even gonna just cut this portion off here, modify it even more. And especially on the Gen 5s, I mean, you can use both your hands, and do a quick reload, and I mean, this would be good enough, but you just kinda do both fingers hitting the, the ambi right side. So that's kind of the first thing I do. I mean, the CAG works solution is nice. You know, a lot of people use that. It works just fine. I don't care about it, you know, scratching up my slide or whatever, but it's like 50 bucks. So these are these parts are cheap. If you screw one up or you do it and regret it or whatever, just buy a new one. I mean, the factory OEM parts are fairly cheap to replace that. And then another thing I do, especially for carry guns with Glocks, is I hate the texture of all Glocks. I don't care what gen it is. My hands sweat profusely, and very quickly, the frame feels pretty slippery to me. So, talon grips, I like to granulate, sandpaper, but you're gonna carry this thing inside your waist. You don't want it, you know, jacking up your skin. So, I install the talon grips in a certain way that I cut the grip first and modify it so essentially I'm leaving half of the back wrapped around to kind of a point where I measure inside the holster on my body and see what's gonna rub against this texture and what's not so I just cut a section out and apply it so that way I have a full front side of my hand and the back and that's plenty of grip at least for me anyways so yeah just a couple quick little bubba hacks that I do um, to make these guns work a little bit better for me so yeah